Squishy, remember Squishy? Oh, such a yeah. first one. Art. We had um, rescued her. And she's dog, bro. And she had like so many problems. She had a flu. She had um, mange. Pobrecita. Her um, from overbreeding. And oh. we brought her home. And, when, like, and then um, we got her medicine and stuff. But then, like, in those two years, she kept, like, you know, I don't know if you got a rescue dog, but it's like taking care of a senior citizen. Sooner or later, oh, my leg hurts. Then like my like back hurts. Falling apart little by After little. After years of abuse, too, though. Yeah, but we this love that dog. Me. Then we had a Henry. Yeah. Henry came in like he just got punched or something. <laughs> Henry so, did. Yeah, he had a bad life. Someone, t- someone like this, someone, knew, he was so beat up. That um, they just tied him outside of the of the um, of the shelter. I don't even know who tied him up. Somebody must have saw him and felt bad for him, and he and um, they just tied him up and he was bleeding from I don't know if he was bleeding from his mouth or I don't know. Where he had b- several places. Yeah, several yeah. Places. Poor guy, dude. How about how about when your dog, bro? When your when your dog passed away? Yeah, she was uh like. She wasn't like uh, responsive at first, but then when I was taking her to the hospital, like uh, she started kind of barking. But she just had a puncture, you know, like mm-hmm. it was a puncture in her lung. Oh, when she then, got bit. Yeah, like it wasn't like a hard like. But that's what did her. It in. wasn't a hard bite. It was just kind of like the like just the way the dog like clamped down and like. Yeah, but if you have a puncture in the lung, and then she like, shook her, huh? I don't know if he shook her, dude. Oh. Like, that's the thing. We, we don't. We didn't see. It was so. a death blow. Visit all the trauma. Yeah. From yeah. <laughs> your your <laughs> pet is one of a kind, and so is their journey. While every playful moment is a memory in the making, sometimes <laughs> our cats and dogs are a little too good at getting into trouble. That's why you should check out ASPCA Pet Health to explore coverage. Visit ASPCAPetInsurance.com slash full f o o l. That's ASPCA. PetInsurance.com slash foo. This is a paid advertisement. Insurance is underwritten by either Independence American Insurance Company or United States Fire Insurance Company and produced by PTZ Insurance Agency Limited. The ASPCA is not an insurer and is not engaged in the business of insurance. What's up, foo? Podcast. What's up, everybody? What's up? Fool? What's up, everyone? Man, I just... I've been busy. I went to my acting class <laughs> yesterday. I'm getting better. I'm really getting better. She okay. asked me, did you, go, did you go over your lines? <laughs> yeah, I did. In my layover. <laughs> but now I get it. And it's really helped me out in my um, in my stand-up. It's good. When I saw your, your performance in uh, this food, it was really good, man. That was a really good performance. It was funny. It was really good. I had great direction. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta have Chris on talk about this fool. This Shut. fool canceled. It might get picked up. Hopefully, who by says? Ho- I, mean, I, I mean, I mean, they're tra- they're, tra- they're trying yeah. to. There's a like, campaign on Twitter. There's a campaign. There's a lot of campaigns, Save this bro. Fool. <laughs> Salvalo. Yeah. But there should be a campaign to not redo Godfather Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made me so the, sad. The worst to hear Godfather that. ever made, by the way. But I like after watching it again, I actually like Godfather Three. I like it. But now they have a new one starring um. It's Padrino, homie. Uh, Gosling, like, right? D- Ryan Gosling is playing Michael Corleone. How can he play a Sicilian crime, head of a Sicilian crime family? I don't, just he, don't get he's gonna that. He's going to play Barbarino. <laughs> Did you remember <laughs> your, uh, your, uh, your, your, uh, your uh, DVD set of uh, The Godfather when it had yeah. all that extra when they were telling him the studio wanted uh, Robert Redford to play originally to play uh, yeah. Michael Corleone? He's all, yeah. And Francis Ford Coppola said, yeah, it is true that there are some blood. I believe that. Students. So why are we doing this? I Brian guess they're Gosling. doing it. They're going like, I don't know. Is it I a guess, parody? Or a funding or a what issue, if? right? So it's a, it's a reboot? Like, is it yeah. like, it's take a whole place new. in the a whole, 80s, Same movie, or, but with different characters. Who's playing Joey Zaza? Uh, Marky Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark, bro. Seriously, what is up? I Wahlberg. don't get that. 
I'm I'm really disappointed to hear There's this. only two challenges in the movie. It's <laughs> um Quentin Tarantino, he's playing Al Neary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need a towel. Do you need a towel? Do you need a towel, Michael? And uh, and Steve Schripper, he's playing um Tomasino. Don Tomasino? Don Tomasino so, with a, in a wheelchair. See, this is for see. real. It's for real. <laughs> yes, I keep thinking that April 1st, somebody's going to tell us, psych. <laughs> well, uh-huh. I hope so. Wasn't it in the early 2000s that they were saying they're going to do a Godfather 4 with Leonardo DiCaprio? Playing Sonny, right? Yeah, Go, playing Sonny. Going Corleone. back in the day, right? But he's at least Italian. Come right. on now. Come so, on now. But uh, what happened to that? Nothing. What happened? Nothing, bro. I would prefer um, um, Adrian Elba to play my accordion <laughs> Damn, over bro. Ryan Gosling. Bro. Man, you shaking up the industry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Cassidy, each. But he's English, right? He's English. He's British. Yeah. It says right British. here that The Godfather being remade with Javier Bardem and Oscar Isaac. No. What, what, what like, are you looking at over there? What are you reading? No. Right here on, uh, what is this? What's the date Snopes? on that? What the fuck's Snopes? Snopes. <laughs> well, Snopes. You need to stop <laughs> snoping around. Snopes is a myth buster, dude. I think dude. Snopes, they put that up because that Sykes was yeah. taken. <laughs> go over here reading The Onion over here, dude. What's going on over here with his age of misinformation? La Cebolla, homie. <laughs> so who's starting in that one, bro? La Cebolla. This one? Age of, age of, <laughs> yeah, an onion? Ha- he has a different Sophia Google. Sofia Vergara. He has a different Google Playing over Connie here. Corleone. <laughs> <laughs> she planted that let story. me back in let me back in michael let me back in huh? michael <laughs> maybe they should be afraid of you <laughs> <laughs> they'll, now they'll fear you michael maybe they should fear you snopes bro but that's what i mean i'm trying to say five reasons the godfather couldn't be made remade today there's like a whole bunch of articles oh, yeah so you're reading no, article. it's, God, it's yeah. godfather 3, three. 2025 yeah and I think um, um, Rachel I think Adams or th- somebody. Yeah. Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Oh, Amy Adams. Who's she K? K oh. Adams. Okay. But it's, it's weird because they're going to be super younger than they were at the end of Godfather yeah. 3. It's kind of weird, right? Well, maybe not Ryan Gosling. He's about the Al Pacino same age as was Al 70. We're supposed to be 70 in Godfather 3. Oh, Godfather 3. They made oh, me yeah, older. Yeah. With, oh, and diabetic, God. too. Yeah. That's when he had that. that but he wasn't that really coma. seventy though. No, he was no, probably late fifties yeah. playing. He 70, says in right? that documentary, "They made me older." Yeah, very. Much yeah, older. <laughs> Not before. Hoo-ha! Because I didn't feel like he was seventy in that at all. I didn't feel. No, like yeah, that. that's so, weird. Godfather Three takes how many years? Uh, it's after part it two? takes place in the eighties. Yeah, right? well, yeah, the kids are it grown now. Up. Yeah, it's weird because see, Michael Corleone was born in nineteen twenty. Yeah, yeah. So he's probably 70, 50 years later, nineteen seventy something. Yeah. Because they're trying to buy a go legitimate, right? Immobiliari. I don't get. I don't. That, that, they lose me when they start talking about that shit. Maybe this. Maybe three will make sense now if I try to watch it like this. I don't know. Yeah, because uh, take I've all been the flavor shot, out, Father. Because <laughs> remember the whole thing they were trying to get them to that they were having those hearings and they're all because he was gonna buy it and then somebody jumps up. You're gonna give this to a gangster? James Woods is playing the Archbishop. Oh, so he's playing that dude. Dude, James Woods badass. Wasn't man. James Woods in the other one? He wasn't in the other. No, he no. It was George oh. Hamilton. And oh, in the, in the oh, okay. I knew it was something tall, lawyer. lanky. Yeah, can, Philip, can you look up Sophia yeah, George Hamilton Coppola dying in Godfather Three? I just want to show that scene because well, it's, it's the greatest just, scene in cinema, uh, right there, right? Dad, <laughs> she seriously does. <laughs> she gets shot and she's dying on the steps of the opera house. Uh, Dad, I heard that Nicholas K laughs at that every every Christmas. <laughs> that is not my cousin. <laughs> um, it looked like they gave her the hook, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess part threes are always bad. But right? then she went on and made some movies. Although Virgin Suicides, a lot of people, the rumor was that uh, Spike Jones, who she was married to at the time, directed that or had a big hand in that because it was so perfect. <laughs> that movie was good. We all got to start somewhere. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Blood and Blood no. Out the Musical. Hey, dude, <laughs> it's coming, bro. A nice capades. Check it out. Check it out. This is acting at its finest. Cop- We're going to get a copyright strike here, but it's worth it. Dad? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> She's so bad. <laughs> is he, is he uh, squeak, squealing at her acting? <laughs> There's sound effects here. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, 
Jaeger's his gun is louder than everybody else's. The bullets pass to two. Did she not know go. she got shot? Oh, I thought she said, uh, Dad. <laughs> I always remembered it that way. Papa. Oh, my they God. They cut it, man. <laughs> I don't think they cut it. Because <laughs> yeah, she said I've been shot. <laughs> no. 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 They killed my lady. Oh, God. They killed my lady cousin. No. No. Oh, God. No. Yeah, that scene where they're making pasta together and making out, I was like, oh, I'm really comfortable in this scene. <laughs> There's a saying in Spanish, right, a la prima se le arrima. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, a, that's, that's a classic one. Uh, la prima Everybody's se screaming. Because huh? ah! yeah, supposedly yeah. that, it, then when he yells, it's supposed to be like an iconic yell, right? Or scream. Something like, I don't know. Uh, On the steps Yeah, right after the, That's the beginning it. of his hoo-ha era. I, I heard think, for them, right? for... To, to give it for that scream, Al Pacino like had an ingrown toe and he just <laughs> left it in there. Somebody <laughs> stepped on it. It's a method actor. <laughs> <laughs> Who stole your toenail, bro? Fix it. <laughs> Dude, I did my own surgery. It looked like oh. I was a wounded warrior, bro. Like Rambo? You had I the, just, I'm not going to get you suck a toe? No, no it, it, it was starting to hurt me because what happened was it curled. It like his, jaw, his jaw. It looked like <laughs> it looked like a talkie on the right side, on the left oh. side. Oh. So I cut it off. Ah. And then like. You mean like the skin had inflamed like No, that? no, no. The actual toenail started curling like a talkie on the inside. So I cut it oh and I took it. You should get ASPCA insurance. And, uh, <laughs> for those dogs. Hey, for that oh, puppy. Pet insurance for so, the dogs. Uh, <laughs> so they could get me in on Tuesday. So I don't want to wait till Tuesday. Dog so I just barking. iced it. I was going to do it at the hotel in uh, in Richmond. But I was like, man, what if I mess around and get a bunch of blood on the wall yeah. or something? And How did you not know before I got to that no, it point? No, it, it, was, it was getting that. that it, it was starting. I was like, dude, I was looking at it. I was like, I thought Jeez. this lady's giving me a, a pedicure over here. So then I went all the way down, which they did that before when I went to a to a spot to get it cut. So basically the They're whole side of it. probably cutting it too I short. I cut it up top, and then I just yanked it out. It was like mm. yanking out a tooth. That's oh. what. Yeah. That's and what then she's all, out. I'm all grunting like I'm turning into a werewolf. <laughs> What's going on in there? Shut the hell up! I'm gonna cut my nail, man. Let me put a. She put it like a stick in my mouth. Wow. And she so, numbed uh, it in six places, yeah. right? And uh, well, like that one time toe. I got it numbed, it was cool, but I still kind of felt something. But this one I went in raw, dude. <sighs> I was like, you just like, I was just hearing like just the, the back of my neck and everything just tense and twitching and like, dude, the, all hot and the, sweaty. The blood off thumping <laughs> on the side of my temple, dude. Did they inject you with something so you don't I was doing it, it in, the, in the restroom, punch, dude, bro. at the house. <laughs> a punch. <laughs> Yeah, I did it at the That's house. That's the point where you're like, I might, I might come out of this with some bad infection, or I might chop off my toe or something. Something's gonna happen. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. So you know, everything got sanitized, and I, you know, <laughs> but I put a uh, peroxide, then alcohol after, mm. and everything, and it was just, it was just stinging and throbbing. And then the next day, I woke up, everything's all nice and cool. I remember my nail came off one time, bro. The whole it was, nail? It was all bad, yeah. That's what I heard. Uh, it was all infected. How did well, it look she like did it on purpose? No, she I did it. it off. Oh, you did? I it heard... was just weak or something. Oh, it was like oh. two. It was just. Came That's off. before you were being treated. Yeah. Oh, gross. But supposedly that happened when your body kind of like rejects it and tosses it out on its own, right? Yeah. I was like, I'm like, my body heals like. Um, Wolverine. Like Wolverine, but it's really slow, bro. <laughs> as long as it heals, though, because if it doesn't, that's when there's issues. How did it look like on top of the toe with nothing? Like, well, I, for a long time, my toe, that toe had like an ingrown, but I never felt it unless I took my sock off. Yeah. You know, where I put a sock on, so I would, um, I would just look at it, you know, like not touch it. But then it got redder, uh-huh. and then one day, like, um, I, I almost just start poking around, and I poked. And um, <laughs> the whole nail came off, bro, with a lot of puss. Whoa. I didn't even cut it or nothing. Gross. And you went to the doctors itself. or you're like... But my teeth were looking the same way too, so... <laughs> yeah, he got <laughs> everything fixed top to bottom now. He's good. That's He's all but it was fixed. weird, but Gross. I, 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 Gross. I, I, I don't know if it happened in a dream or <laughs> happened in real life. <laughs> but... She did, the doctor when you started getting treated, she did pull those off. That's the first. But now I'm good to go, yeah, bro. Like, like a model. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Your toes are good now. You wear sandals a lot. That's good, dude. My toes before were like broken candies, bro. <laughs> like broken lollipop. A little Werther's right there, huh? Little Werther's. Oh, oh, that's old people. But I'm still so gonna... your fucking um, tools, bro. I saw a video, bro. <laughs> old video, I think, wasn't it? Hey, good. I saw a video, bro, and I sent it to him. What's up with those cheeks? 
Well, which you had a tooth decay. <laughs> you had two broken molars. Wait, which one? No, because he sent me a video. Put the of, video of uh, some of this fool's cheeks. I'm like, dude, um, it's a broken molar. Big fool. cheeks, big trouble, no China. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think when this fool oh. drinks, he gets a little swole. Yeah, when I drink, I get. Uh, my but this get side, he must have some was Asian swollen. Head. Have you ever done a uh, DNA test? Never done my ancestry. Yeah, your cheeks were a little puffy, right? I've here. always, I've always had like puffy cheeks. Like, part squirrel. Like, like when I gain, like when I yeah, gain I a little bit of weight. There he is, right there. I think that video is a little older. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, there he is. That's him. Oh, that's shit. his dad, bro. That's the Cabbage Patch guy on the left, isn't it? Isn't didn't they make a Cabbage Patch kid? I mean, a uh, Garbage Pail kid yeah. after that guy. Yeah, yeah when I gain weight, when I yeah, gain weight, it goes to my Timmy face. Steam. Oh no. Yeah, when I gain weight, it goes to my face, man. That's all like uh, first is my face, and after that's the rest of my body. See my face, my hands, my neck, my stomach. See we aquí no más. So you still working for Ali TV? Uh, I do stuff for them here and there. Uh, what's it called? I last time I did something with them was uh, what the fuck was it? Oh, the, uh, when I did that interview for uh, the the movie, the the football movie. What's it called? The eighty the for Dog Brady. Oh, oh, for Snoop Dogg. Underdogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of questions you were asking? I was just because the guy. I forgot, dude, I forgot the guy's. The guy who uh, so the guy that directed the movie, he directed like the he's from the the Budweiser commercial. He, What's that? Yeah, he's like the a, guy that uh fucking came up with the whole thing like back in the nineties. Really? And then from then on, he started like directing like movies. Cause he wasn't an ad guy, right? He just no. he did it on his own like a a submission, like almost like a fan submission, right? Well, that's yeah. what that was huge guys, back in the day, yeah. dude. That's a lot of those guys start, man. Like uh, Spike Jones, he started with like uh, skateboard, skateboard videos, videos mm -hmm. then music videos, and movies. And he then. made the best music videos. Well, the the yeah. Beastie Boy ones, that, that sabotage, that sabotage shit. is great. But he he made uh, Three Kings, which was great. It was bu visually beautiful. Actually, no, 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 no. Sorry, he's in Three Kings. He Who made is? Um, Being John Malkovich. Yeah, he's Spike, Spike, Spike Jones. Jones. He's one of the three with Ice Cube and Mark Wahlberg. Well, he's one of the four: Ice Cube, Mark Wahlberg, and um, George Clooney. Right? George Clooney, and then Spike Jones is the other guy. That's a badass movie. He's a Spiegel family heir. You know the Spiegel, really? the Spiegel catalog. That's his family. Damn. Yeah, Spike Jones' fake name, of course. But yeah, he's got a cool style. Yeah. Spike What's up, fool? Check me out on The Fighter and the Kid. I don't know when it comes out, but I did it. Hell yeah, dude. Today. And um, I think they do two episodes a week, so I think you'll be out I this And I did week. Um, the Eddie Bravo podcast, which oh, probably come out in two weeks. Hell yeah, dude. And we're yeah. going to have Eddie on mm, not next week, <clears throat> but the week after. I was sporting my Felipe Esparza shoes today for the, the podcast. Oh, yeah? You haven't, you haven't worn them since you got them? Never worn them. I wore them today. The Big Fool shoes? The, yeah, what's the up, Big Fool no, tour. What's oh, up, what's no, What's podcast. Up Fool podcast. That, you got those a while ago. For, those were they're like Jordans, right? Or those Air Force Jordan. ones? Yeah, okay. The ones they made for you. Yeah, those are bad, dude. My first Jordans. Kickstradamus. Kickstradamus. Kick yeah, Kickstradamus. Starting at $1,000. Anybody wants to buy those shoes right there. <laughs> oh, you probably we'll donate it to more, charity. Dude. They're signed by the artist. You're a badass, dude. And they're signed by me. The big stars are 1,000. <laughs> oh, there's like the Trump shoes, huh? And they're, <laughs> Where do they bid? Where do they bid? One out of one. <laughs> no, there's no, there ain't no other pair. There's never going to be another Size pair. Size 10 and a half. You should have them up here in a case, huh? <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick, dude. Also got um, some towelies. Oh, shit. The Adidas towelies. Look them up. Adidas towelies. Both you guys think, are sporting yeah, them? Yeah, I have, a new, I have a pair of them, too. But they're not worth that much anymore, I don't think. They're worth think, a lot. Like well, 300 no, bucks, no? Because they did a second release. There's, they oh. were th I know. They were three hundred at first, and and they really shot up, right? Because they came out around I think they came out last April, right? Like four twenty or something <clears> like that. <throat> the price shot up. People were reselling them. They were sold out. Couldn't find them. And then they did like a second release, and pretty much they just flood the the market. It's not a collector's item anymore. Not that I'm a collector, but the price went down too. Dude, tally's the shit. Tally's my favorite. Do you guys have matching out uh, the Adidas suits for the shoes too? The no, baby blue, or no. do they make those at all? No. I don't know. I don't Felipe bad, has dude. one that's the whole, kind like, of setup, dude. similar color, that lavenderish color. Dude, I'm on the I search. Would, I would go with them. Wanna get What's up, fool? Last week we were in Richmond, Virginia. I, I tore up some biscuits that were delicious, Ooh. fried green tomatoes with um, cheese. Fried green tomatoes are bomb, bro. I never had them. I had them at Lucio's. They're fucking bomb. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had them until that one time we had them. A couple times back from that same spot. It was good as fuck. See, we've been delicioso. Look at that. 
Was it snoring over there? Oh, that's the place, yes. Oh, just Delicious, cold. bro. Yum. This is all vegan? It was like a chicken patty no, on there? No, just one of one of the chicken patties is vegan oh. and the other ones aren't. It is and bomb, they, though. And they do have vegan eggs sometimes. So it's chicken on a biscuit? Yeah, it's bomb, man. They melt in your mouth with biscuits. <laughs> they even have blueberry biscuits and they have cheese biscuits. And yeah. they have also beignets there. Mm. To me, it's like a way better version of Chick-fil-A. Really? Yeah, dude. I love Chick Fil A. Never had it, so wouldn't know. And the cheese. Chick Fil A was my first job. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, that's a that's Christian ass job, huh? Well, not really. <laughs> but they did. They were off on Sundays, but but this is in Ohio. But um, they had. Uh, they're really clean. If you ever wonder about like fast food places, they fucking clean top to bottom with bleach. Not like BK, she's dirty, man. <laughs> oh, bro. You can see like the grime on the floor, yeah, on the edges of the floorboards. Every boards. one of them is like spotless. Also, oh, White they Castle, really trust hard. me, it should, be, it should be called a dirty castle. <laughs> because chicken's so dangerous, they, they're they really extra clean yeah. about it. And I noticed that they they uh, wash everything down on the front, mm-hmm. like the parking lot and everything. They're always clean on the exterior They're as very well. serious about all The that. Burger King right there on uh, Sunset Boulevard, the one right there that's... Uh, like before, like a uh, Echo Park. That one's fucking ghetto. Oh, yeah. oh it's like a, oh, from right the Ukraine, there right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right it's there like by the downtown zone, LA. Dude. It's yeah. fuck. Oh my god. Oh, I know what you're talking about. There's always homeless yeah. fools sleeping right there. That's where the Jack in the Box is, right? I've Across never been inside. Only drive through. Yeah, I it's bought a Whopper from there before. Disgusting, <laughs> bro. You went inside That's or never been inside? Because I, I I used to skate at the high school next door, uh, and then I'd go right there, and it was bad, bro. You could tell the employees do not care in that spot, They dude. do not give a fuck, man. It's like a glazed look on them. <laughs> Zombie stuff. The They'll wrap it, bro, with any bag they have. Like, what time they gave me a, a burger, a burger, bro, with a, with a, with a, a food for bag. less bag? <laughs> yeah. The CVS. A hairnet, bro. <laughs> the CVS receipt in my bag. It's all <laughs> thick, huh? That's the only Burger King that trays Beer with CBS, bro. Because, <laughs> dude, I remember the soda machine. Uh, I guess it was so fucked up that was only the, the the syrup was only coming out. Like it wasn't mixing uh, with the with the water. Everyone, it's all messy at a at the fountain. You know the place is like just gross, dude. Also, there's another. I don't know if it's Jack in the Box, but it's in the back over there by Venice and Hill. That one's pretty. Easy. That is ghetto. Oh yeah, right there. Uh, fuck, right there uh, by the freeway. Yeah, yeah it's right like there. So, uh, Street someone or lay on the floor, bro, in front of the drive-through and <laughs> charge like, you a dollar <laughs> for it to move. I like the troll high. You want to get? I didn't even know through? Venice went all the way over that way. Lisa and I, start going to that we shop. saw a guy walking with a hammer, bro. We called the cops on his ass right there. He had a club. He had a club. Yeah, he had a club it was a club, like a two he by four with nails. He was swinging all in mad. Yeah, he was so, crazy. Boom! Call the cops. I get this guy out of here. Right? Send him back to Anaheim. But you know what? <laughs> though back. somebody Bullard had here. recently gotten. I think in New York that was right after that woman got smacked in the head, just coming around the corner. Copycat. No, no, that was like what happens, dude. But she was like in a coma. And that guy was just, he was going like this and ranting and stuff. When you travel food, you ever been uh, like, um, well, a, a, had a, a TSA ever like been rude to you or impatient? Like, put your bag right there. Um, No. I mean, they're I've, in a hurry. Well, they're you hurt. Fool. hurt. I, I got some people are kind of. Yeah, you like, look lost. Hurry, hurry, the fuck up. <laughs> hurry up, bro. Yeah. I've got people that look all sleepy and like they haven't, you know, they look all like disheveled, but never got treated. I, like I got, I looked at people who look at me and I give them a look like, you ain't going to be sergeant today, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing. <laughs> I, like, I wish I had done that. I, I had an asshole this past weekend. Oh, yeah? Was Orlando what happened? Airport. How many bags you had? I had Marley no bag. I had my... <laughs> this is the x-ray. So I just had my carry-on, my computer bag, my Pan Am bag, and my purse. My Pan Am bag, my purse, and I took off my slides and put them in there. Took out my computer, put it in another <laughs> bin. And then it was about to go through the x-ray thing, and the flap opens, and I was like, oh, let me readjust it. He said, Here. And he tore it out of the bin, threw it onto the belt. I said, but my stuff is going to come out. And it, all the pens, everything spilled oh out of it. Oh, God, dude. And then he said, get back in line. And I said, but and he said, shut up and get back in line. And he told Whoa. me to shut up. And Whoa. I didn't know how far I could go verbally with this guy. So get, I just, I just, I just shut, shut up. up. I know, but I just didn't know my rights, you know, because cause they make it sound yeah. like you can get tossed the no for, fly, yeah. the no fight for abusive language, like what's considered abusive. Yeah. It's That's a very vague yeah. uh, uh, description. So I shut my mouth, but I just mad dogged in the rest of the time. It's this little fit, little maybe 40-year-old man with a reddish <laughs> hair and reddish beard. 
and I wanted to punch him. I was so mad at this man. He made me feel like a child, but he was talking to everybody else that way too. And I was like, dude, I'm not a new traveler. You should work at a prison, yeah. dude. I mean, <laughs> why are you so angry? You're taking it out on me like this. It was, this man was such an asshole. Such an asshole. And I didn't know what I could say. So I filed a complaint later. That's cool. Like, he's acting but like still. He's acting like like it's God. like everybody's flown like so many times there. Like it's probably That's people's like thing. first like, time. You, you know? have to have some. It's and it, and it like I wasn't a first time flyer. I was just concerned about my bag. You know, uh. which which was a valid concern because there were about twenty pins spilled all over those rollers at the end of the thing. And he he because he put it on without a tray, it flipped upside down again because another tray jammed into it and pushed it. You know what I mean? Yeah, How I they totally. all collect at the end. He's just being a dick. He was being a dick. And a power tripper. It was, but like, why? It was 8.30 in the morning. You, you just got here. <laughs> he just this is the Florida thing. You just thing. started here, dude. Uh, but yes, you're right. They have to have some... I know security is the top thing, but you have yeah. to have some level of customer service to not be a dick like that. And uh, you're coming across a lot of people who've never flown yeah, they before. Don't they the don't rules. know the rules. They're like, I need to take off my shoes. Like, what and you're what? treating yeah. them like a kid, and there's all this Yo, yelling, God, 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 get in here, get in. You know, it's so chaotic up there. But that guy was so extra. And, he was so unnecessary. And I'm sure he's probably going, if I don't run the line like this, it's going to clog up and cause more delays or whatever. But yeah. it's like, dude, you're being a dick already I doing think this. He just this really place will fall got apart without me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really got right off when you think that, dude, that. that's when they don't need you, bro. <laughs> you know what I hate now? That I fucking, too big for his britches. Well, well, right. When I got a clear, like when I first got it, it was perfect. You know, nobody was going there. But now it's like, Faster it's a fast to pass go. At Disneyland. You got. You have to learn how to work it. You got to get TSA pre and then go into the clear TSA pre line. But like, but yeah, but it's, I know. But now it's crazy. Now everybody has clear, and like now, like the faster lane is the regular one. And sometimes, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah, they, got the easy yeah, pass. Yeah, clear premier. <laughs> I'm sure there's something else that's gonna come Extra out. Watch, clear, watch. Yeah. There's a TSA premier now. Different TSA. There is. Is there really? Damn, how many I tiers told you are when there, I took dude? Delta one. And I was like beyond first class. And you enter in the arrivals downstairs. That's where you go in to depart. And it's like a club getting in. And they have a doorman right there. Oh, shit. And then they let you in. And they have their own <laughs> TSA. And you have go through their own TSA. There's nobody in line. And just, just for their go, customers. Just for their customers. Is it, it going like I'm talking about? Ultimate, <laughs> ultimate luxury, I'm telling On you. On Spirit, they push you in and, and they give you a, a towel and you got to wipe the plane on the way in. <laughs> yeah. They don't give you a drink, right? They're like just talking. When, you, when you're right? walking in, like, you get open Blood your window balls. and clean the windows, bro, your window. <laughs> it's like pouring barbecue. You got to do it yourself, bro. Like, here you go. I mean. Uh, bro, every time I, like, I don't even know. I know Spirit Airlines is there. But I've never seen it like, like no one from Spirit Island. But I see at the gate, but I don't see people. Let like they all hide. They're American. They want a time to fly. They walk to Spirit. <laughs> to me, it's They're the equivalent late, of uh, Metro PCS employees. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the same you, colors, dude. You've flown, right? <laughs> I've flown. Spirit? Yeah. How was that? Your first experience? The only thing that sucks is like you can only carry, I think, like one carry on. So they, you got to hide. Nickel and Super dime small, you. They right? act like it's cheap, yeah. but they nickel and dime you. So if you want to have a regular experience that you have on a regular flight, you're paying the same. I heard the the first end, class right? is just more leg room. Yeah. They I'm have sure. first class? I don't I think, think it's all like the same class, bro. Yeah, they they treat you like animals, bro. <laughs> It's like it's like the it's like the people like from Titanic the bottom bro. The, they uh, say, "May God have mercy the, on your souls." Yeah. Let's have a good. Flight. That's true. They give you like a jar of peanut butter. You gotta pass it around to the other. <laughs> Put your finger in it, bro. It's like a soup kitchen, bro. Here you go. Because the Mexican airline Volaris is like that. They don't have a uh, first class. They fuck you up. Bro. And uh, they charge you for like a, a bigger bag spirit style. Volaris. Yeah, yeah that's they replaced like me. insult, man. Yeah. <laughs> they replaced Volaris. Mexicana, which was subsidized by the Something government. Like chinga tu, tu madre? No, chinga tu madre. Volaris. No, Volaris. Because that's the cheapest. Dude, seriously, like a. Allegiant, bro. It's cheap, bro. Allegiant. They're in, they're in the about same. Sun Country Air. That's a wine cooler back then. Allegiant, the, day, wasn't the it? pilots. Find Sun Country wine coolers. They're the two liter wine. Allegiance, cooling. the their pilots learn how to learn how to learn how to fucking fly um drones to become pilots. <laughs> gliders, <fool. laughs> yeah, gliders. Butch is a pilot. He just yeah, got his license. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, 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 I'm too He said I could land a plane, and I seen how small the cockpit. You're gonna get in. So look at here. I can fly a plane. Oh, we're all gonna die, man. He'll be flying and laying down. Look at that two liter <laughs> wine cooler right there, Sun Country. <laughs> the bear, right? Oh there a bear shit! On, there? on Spirit Airlines, they give you um the, that buzz little balls. buzz yeah, ball. I, I got a buzz. I bought a buzz ball, dude. I got fucked up on Spirit Airlines. 
They give you a buzz ball. That's crazy. Just one, but what's in a buzz you know, you ball? Can buy they sell everything. It, right? they the don't hard. Give it to you. So it's it has vodka, whatever the the alcohol. Flavored. It's fifteen percent vodka with like whatever. Like those uh, club drinks. Wants. Yeah, all super strong. So it's, it, like, it's yeah. sugary. It's a woman. Uh, it's a it's an item made by women. That's what it says on the side. So yeah. Come on, somebody saw that in a plane, dog. It's it cr- is dude, pretty but, uh, funny. Sun country, all their planes have propellers, right? <laughs> yes. Are they all no, planes? I, I think so. So yeah. they just go like short distances I, or whatever. Yeah, they're they're kind of like connectors, like Detroit, Ohio, or something like that. Yeah, Frontier, bro. That's well, another one. Frontier, that that one's uh, Frontier, Frontier canceled Frontier. a flight on me, bro. When they got to the as soon as they got to the gate. Is that the said, one that you went to Kansas? The Dodge, yeah. They said we're not flying mm-hmm. no more. Shut yeah, we're they just can't. We're just can't <laughs> this I think you were one of ten people who had bought a ticket yeah. and they canceled the flight. It was like not enough people to fly. Not enough people. So then he had to fly somewhere else and then drive, yeah. right? Oh Lincoln God. and then drive or something. I was a pain in the ass. But you paid for that service, man. The cheap flights because Volaris from Tijuana to Cancun, it's only like sixty bucks. But like you gotta deal with like maybe like delays and like cancel flights. I've never yeah. smelled more baby shit on a plane than a plane on Volaris. <laughs> Shut the it fuck up. It smells like that and it smells like Mexican cheese, bro. Cacaradis. <laughs> <laughs> Cacaradis. <laughs> I swear it was you know, they have those grandmas that have the boxes with like all like tied up with Who twine. Knows what's Ule, in yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> and then the, and then those old school bags that your grandma had in Mexico to go to the store and get that's us some like oranges. Sitting on the subway in Chinatown that's, in New York. You know, like what's in that bag? I swear that that's my has. aunt, bro. A lady had a chicken <laughs> in there. She had a bag and her, her carry on was just bricks of cheese bowl wrapped in cloth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baby, you gotta and, do she, that. and she put it right under her seat. That dank Mexican she got, cheese. She brought it home, bro, man. It smells like patas. It's good, though. It was good, though. But, but it smells. The best cheese smells like puke. Yeah. It, it's, <laughs> or puke. I guess I'm yes there. Bomb, she had a bag dude. of that, a bag of fucking machaca, bro, all dry. Oh, my God, and those dude. Fucking these, That's some good eating right these there. These biscuits that were hard as Felipe fuck. Said, Can I be your son? I'm, I'm they're like there. hard ass cookies, bro. I had they're, those before, yeah. Uh, they're uh, uh they're, no co- they're, gordi- they're gorditas. They're like um, but they're like chans, but they're su- they never get soft. And they cut a little sweet, right? They're yeah, made out they like never, a mixture of wheat and like corn soft. or something. Yeah. Cheese eating those. My aunt, <laughs> they're supposedly they used to, you know, when they would walk long distances. That's man, those cheese on. look like bricks of of um, Coke. cocaine. Yeah, yeah. remember that one time in uh, you Idaho? You guys did that video. Yeah, yeah. It's it's all later. They, we got shadow banned for that. I yeah, said, you yeah. did get in trouble for that. The members of the Isn't cartel, the cheese I, cartel. I, I sent a picture to Phil uh, how those bags look like the ule. Ule, what's ule mean? Like like rubber? Ule, ule. Yeah, no, ule is rubber. Yeah, and plastic goes plastic. And it was always tied with like it was always tied with. Fucking, a moron. Uh, always, it was always that with like yellow rope. Do you remember that? Yeah, shit? that twine. Like yeah, the, the twine. Elo, bro. Elo, yeah. yeah. Elo, yeah. So that would uh, yeah, I can't believe that they let people fly like that on those airlines. Bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh bro. You should bring your know, joke dude. back about, or mix it with an airline joke or whatever about the box and ha- just writing minds on it. Well, when I was flying to a, when I went to a time I flew, bro, the lady on uh, no, a then having passed the first like, time, this lady had a box and she just wrapped it with Elo, bro, put all her shit in there. And she didn't put her name. She put me over. <laughs> See, like <laughs> that was her, that was her bag. Yeah, that's, that's the bag right there, the Ula yeah. bag. Yeah, but the, those are the new versions. Like <laughs> yeah. back then, Dude, they were like uglier. My grandma than that. used to take all our <laughs> shirts we didn't want in a place like that and pass them out in Mexico. Bro. Yeah, he those down bags came yeah. in different sizes. We would, dude. <laughs> they didn't give a fuck what they're wearing. There. I like dick. Huh. <laughs> 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 no fat chicks, huh? <laughs> no man. My bro. Johnson's bigger than yeah. yours. <laughs> a lot of Johnson t-shirts. Don't Remember look down. those? A fucking uh, oh. Pete, uh, Pete Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's like a um, mess. People still travel with that fucking yeah, bag, it, dude. dude. Those are the modernized version, like you said. Maybe, maybe I like the, when Twenty dollars for that bag. When that's I see insane. when I'm in Miami, I always see they people going forever. back to Venezuela or. Oh, South America and back like that, dude. And they're fucking saran wrapping the fuck out of it. Oh, that, they do that at the Miami <laughs> airport, dude. Um, a lot of hipsters try to bring those back for like, you know, like 10 years ago, five Chicano years ago. hipsters? With like the Virgin Mary or like some other image on their Frida and stuff. Yeah, but it's like the Ule. That's so funny, dude. Yeah, I used to go get about- bolillos and eggs for my grandma <laughs> in that thing, dude. You can't bring eggs, right, over the country, from another country? I don't know. That's I a good question, think though. in a bus you no, could, just, but I think, like, consumables. I, well, <laughs> we, I think, we, like, dude. consumables are, like, if you're going to eat it for your lunch, <laughs> yeah, you but not, like, a bunch of eggs, Yeah, but, but cheese always, because you always have those ants. Me trajo un queso, mijo. Except, like, except <laughs> remember uh, Canada, you couldn't bring cheese. And also, I think when they were coming back from Holland, they were really, or England or something, they were and really And that's what, like, Mad Cow and all that other stuff you can't bring dairy between countries over there in Europe. 
and or they also, from another country too. And they give you those questions: Were you on a ranch? Are your shoes Fuck. like all the yeah. Yeah, 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 well, of, fuck, dude. to protect their plants? But and all they were that pretty stuff. strict about cheese yeah. in Canada. Yeah. That's so funny. A, a lot of people, man, like are, are posting food from Mexico, like new stuff, and like a lot the people who are from there but live in America now. Because puras mentiras. <laughs> See, no like, it's all lies. Nobody eats that shit no more. No one <laughs> ate food like that. <laughs> like, there was one. I forgot which one it was, but it was just over, like like uh, the the chilaquiles torta with the chicken fries taking it. People are saying that that's all new. They never really ate that big before. Wait, chilaquiles. Like, like Milanesa, chila, right? It's chilaquiles. Chicken fried steak in a torta. Yeah, all chi- chilaquiles, green that chilaquiles. With um, a chicken fry steak in there, and they add um, sour cream, and then they add more cheese on top. I think my high self created that sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think that's, that's like, like there it is, homie. Food, dude. That's like Mexico, Mexico. See, that's like like our stuff, pa- right? our parents didn't eat like that, but like yeah. you know no, the, the youth are munch- eating all garbage. Yeah, you know that's munchy like fusion. Uh, that's stunner food, right? Because I yeah. saw like and there's a whole like Damn. joke about Mexico City people how like they need to put everything like inside a, a bolillo and then, like. There's an actual dessert out there that they put Jello inside. Fuck yeah, I told Leo. you about that. Yeah, that's fucking that's disgusting. So that's gross. weird, bro. Duvaline. But yeah. some fools eat it. It they was eat Jello, it. and they it had like it. a uh, what do you call that? Like um, lechero, the the ah, sweet milk, uh, sweet and condensed milk poured on top of that. Oh, I remember I made a comment. I said, "Yeah, places like this make stuff like this because they never had like lobster." <laughs> <laughs> they, all got, they all got mad. I'm like, "Damn, man, fuck, <laughs> my family wasn't that." If poor, you had bro. lobster before, Why or a were... good ass steak, or a good cheese, you're never gonna go and go, man. Back in the days, bro, we used to eat gelatina in a <laughs> bread roll. Yeah, that's yeah, how, like that's people true. that get high with spray paint, bro. Yeah, fuck it doesn't that. go with bread. That's like, a weird thing. And then they were one of them was uh. Pan or bimbo, ice cream in real bread. And they put the the gelatina with the, the gelatin with the vanilla in it, the yeah, flavored one. That's what I'm saying, know, yeah. Or the cream. The thing that I see you want too, diabetes, huh? The uh. the idea is, is the guajolote, which is a uh, uh, <laughs> it's a tamal inside a bolillo, but that's mm. just too much bread. Yeah, yes. bro. So is chilaquiles inside a torta or inside a bolillo. That's too much. The guajo what? Guajolote. But I guess guajolote. it's turkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's but like, it's uh, cheap food to fill up the stomach real quick yeah. and keep there, on moving. It's like it's junk food. The yeah. guajolote right there. So it's just like it's just too much. Because when I was a kid, you go to Mexico and they'll open a bolillo at the top and you warm one, and then they'll put that Valentina hot sauce on there, and you'd buy it for like you know cinco pesos. Just was bread, it only hot sauce. That was it. That, that was it. Right. Is it hot sauce? Yeah. But if it's fresh, though, I can see yeah, it kicking off that right as you're walking. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking nasty, too, man. Nah, that shit was all right, bro. I can see that. <laughs> but see, but that was the local kids. That in, my grandma wouldn't even let me kick it with. In um, La Vallarta, when they bring out... They're crazy. They eat bread with hot sauce. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> in La Vallarta, <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor fools over there. La Vallarta, when they bring out the bolillos, <laughs> cool. they always bring out the cajeta, too. Oh, oh, that's yeah. good right there. I never thought that shit was something, man. Um, oh, I've eaten like cajeta that. with cheese like that. But they was a pan bimbo right there, bro. Yeah, I've never had like that, but I've seen people that's eat good, it. good, though, right? It's all right, because it melts and I, with a little bit of butter, bro. But I don't like, like some people, I've seen ice cream sandwiches made on actual bread, which yeah. is yeah. so Filipinos. nasty. Oh. No, that's Why does not eat it like that? with bread. I, it's all soggy, man. Put it in a cookie, dude. Oh. It's almost like a wet, like, uncrustable. Ugh. That's gross, it's like dude. a wet Uncrustable. So nasty. I remember when I went to Who Mexico. Who wants an Uncrustable, bro? <laughs> <laughs> in my dude, pocket for a day. When I went to Mexico as a kid, I was so pissed because my, my grandma would make pan- pan- uh, pancakes are called hot cakes. Hot cakes. Hot cakes. Hot yeah. cakes. Hot cakes like, yeah. And then she'd make fucking pancakes and she, we didn't, she didn't have syrup and she put fucking cajeta. I hate it, dude. Well, it's better than nothing, but I know it's, but the cajeta's <laughs> too thin. It's too thin. Exactly. If you made it They're thinner, hell, huh? if you made it thinner and put some what maybe you know what I mean, it'll work, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, oh, that's uh, like IHOP has all those I think those I went to a, a place yeah, in London or in London or Amsterdam where they Nice they serve like, pancake like that. With the cajeta? With the cajeta caramel. Yeah. And I think the cajeta has to be like nice and warm though. You yeah. Know what I mean? uh, is that? Oh, man. <laughs> I know you. I hate, I hate, dude. The first time I seen pizza in Mexico, you know what the topping was? What? Those, Jelly. Those little slices <laughs> of the red Mexican hot dogs. I was like, I ain't eating that shit. Pizza weenies? <laughs> yeah, and they were all, no, it's tan I was like, no, nah, bro. <laughs> Don't eat tacos. No way, dude. <laughs> Got the real shit over here. You know what's funny in Mexico? They call them hot cakes, hot, uh, hot cakes. pancakes. Yeah. But right here, in uh, you know, like in the houses, uh, the Mexican houses in the U.S., they call them pancakes. No matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's up with My mom made pancakes, but she never put syrup either, bro. So and and she butter? Never, and she never put cajeta either. It was just full of cinnamon and sugar inside of it. 
But my dad would just put jelly, bro. Hey, that's so a like, jam. Crepe, like crepes or something. Jam. But she, but she makes the cinnamon in there? Yeah, with cinnamon it? and sugar. So but it was thick. Oh, it was man. thick pancakes. Yeah. The, Philip, you had them, right? Yeah. Did you what they put jelly, right? Yeah, jelly or just by itself? Or just by itself. Ooh, that's more hate, like a, the French. So uh, what are those? Uh, a Dutch cake. Crepes. Uh, the, the other. Uh, oh, thick ass crepe. Uh, no crap. French baby? No, no. French toast. Oh, oh. yeah. French toast is. It's just oh the, like the little the little changes that they make in Mexico, and we're not used to it. It's just like, fuck, dude. Like it's so even the pizza in the beginning on the cheese yeah. was weird. <laughs> so funny, man. They they do a lot of the, the whole thing in Mexico never run out of is butter and mayonnaise, huh? Oh, nunca, man. And yeah. sour cream. Nah. Mexico is the only place that makes flavored mayonnaise, huh? Lime, bro. Yeah, Lime, yeah, bro. That's yeah, just good, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get you some next time I go to TJ, dude. I think oh, but I don't know is such a thing in in Mexico. It Man, so have you ever had I that? Uh, white person. No. Have you ever had that? Maybe a lot that, of Germans brought it no. to Mexico, though. Oh man, have you ever been when to a birthday party? Have you ever been to a birthday party? Have you a birthday party where all they had was tostadas de pollo with mayonnaise? Oh yeah, uh, pollo, gross. To me, dude, that's like a park birthday, dude. A I've park been there <laughs> with that cheap ass. Uh, they'll pull out like that corn with like a little bit of watery mayonnaise in a in like repollo or that's a lettuce, there, right, Philip? And put it on Ritz crackers, yeah. not Ritz crackers, saltines. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Oh my god! One time, my aunt we went to a birthday party, and I, and I was like, we were like, I was hungry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a big old batch. Like I've been to those parties, and it There's was no husbands there. Oh, they fucking, they, I guess they stewed the chicken, they broke it apart, then they put um all the f- vegetables they can find in a can, peas, like peas, peas it. libbies, <laughs> and then they put jalapenos. Even though you don't like jalapenos, you're gonna eat jalapenos today, <laughs> and then lettuce, and they put it on the tostadas. And you're like, man, I could eat one right now. Yeah, See, it's not. It's not. It's kind of gross, but it's that like that really sounds like uh, a white person tostada. But right they sell it in Mexico with a. They sell those. That I don't. Really I don't know. They sell like, it in Mexico. It's go to me, way. But but it's like you look. You think about it. Okay, that's a chopped, um, chopped chicken, chicken salad. salad. Yeah, and I was gonna tell you in Mexico there they it just, is. Boom. They just sell tostadas with chile on it. That's it. Yeah. And it's like, that, this is it. See, wait, está rico. And I'm like, oh my. Well, my God. uncle used to be in Mexico. It was like, I guess, it, I like. I guess it's just fast because they he had to go like you know to work right away. Taxi Tostada, stuff. mayonnaise, oh the Mexican crema, and then uh, jamón. It was just like ham on it, and then that yeah, was no it. Yeah, you guys like didn't a, grow it. Like a slice <laughs> from lunch meat slice. Yeah, yeah, lunch meat, and then like I've seen that. Video, I've yeah. seen that. I've seen that. It's actually pretty good. Was, I've seen that before. I was gonna tell That's you like uh, bologna tostada. Yeah. The, the bomb is tortas. Is when they put mayonnaise on the actual torta and then they grill it on the. Yeah. And then That's dude, it. it's. Bomb like that, and I've been eating like that since. Bro, have you I, seen I can't that uh, tostada they make now with a big old churro? No, no. It's like a, you know they have those churritos made out of flour. The, <laughs> yeah. the ones, the oh, round, the, yeah, the round yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. They're like yeah. a little pinwheel, but they have a longer one. It's like a this big. Oh piece. yeah, yeah, yeah. And now they're putting sour cream on it with fucking beans and oh cueritos. My God. It's on a it's torito a thing. Torito, yeah. Oh, like a bionico kind yeah. of, thing, right? And it's funny that you said that because there's a place in Tacatecas too that they sell uh, to, uh, torillas or toritos, and it's just like a tostada with like chopped cueros on it with chile, oh, and man. it's hot as hell. Or they'll do it too with like uh, the pig skin, not with just the the not the, the non-fat it's part, actual skin. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's People right there. People love the, it, huh? The, yeah, bro. And I'm just like, oh man, nothing against this shit, but I'd rather have McDonald's, dude. I see that food, bro, <laughs> like that, that that type of food. And yep. I did think about Bobby Hill, bro, when he had that, the, that, the that gout. grout, the gout. Yeah. <laughs> he was eating, like, bra- organ meats. He was eating liver and brains and um, kidneys and stuff like that. Wow. I, do I remember in Mexico? I, like, you remember. They, they, so they, they served it like, like a treat. It was like a treat. It was like a bag of, like, chicken feet. With lemon and and what and part of Mexico hot, are you from, bro? La selva, eh? <laughs> the fucking the ce- the cerro, homie. <laughs> the cerro. That's the fucking hills, dude. They don't have phones. Yeah, yeah, everybody La here. Sierra, La Sierra, yeah. Everything echoes over there. No, I, I've seen people eat. I just can't, bro. But now I'm like, oh, it's like we little dinosaur again? feet, bro. It was like, it's like little chicken feet, feet bro. But deep fried. No, wait, it was like stewed. Well, I see them. You're going to have baby teeth dim, to eat that. They're in. naked on the dim sum table, too. Yeah. They're yeah. all like spoiled or steamed. I just, with nails, right? Like top nails. Yeah, yeah, dude. I've, I've seen big old so sopas. The hair follicles. That they have feet. I'm a why, dude. Like, I mean. It's little fucking dinosaur feet. Like, you don't there's understand. There's not even like meat on it. I don't get it as a thing. The best know. meat is like right there in the bottom. That where little fat part. Yeah, the fat part on the bottom. Nasty. Because that's say. And you eat to the bone? To the bone, bro. I wouldn't now. Now. But back then. You're a little scavenger, bro. You're a little piranha, bro. The 
skin's not even fried. You're a bottom feeder, cocksucker. The skin's not even fried. Doesn't it feel human? I just picture this going to the grocery store. Steam pollo, no, no más los patas. <laughs> patas but it, no but it's pollo cuerito. No, because if you go to the Mexican market, they sell them right there. It's so just, just feed he's, chicken feet. Like he's eating this and someone else took the, the drumstick then, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. That's a good yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the nails are still on it. They don't even clip the nails off. Yeah. Uh, is there like, meat in it? They're like There's talons. There's a little meat, bro. It's actually... It was, yeah, it looks now just like that, bo- that bottom now right. Now it makes sense, that's Rizzo. You're with the Filipino sum, chick. Bottom yeah, right. Dude. Nothing. It, on like, dim sum, it just looks plain and naked like nothing. Yeah, a lot of Asian uh, dishes have a... Well, I wouldn't do it now, but now. like bird beaks. <laughs> <laughs> no way, mm, dude. And I told see. you I almost ate the tripe uh, dim sum, but I thought it was noodles. Oh, but it was tripe fuck. and it was these white looking noodle things. And my friend said, no, that's tripe. And I was like, oh, shit. But she stopped me before it. But it had no sauce on it or anything. It was just plain white. I just, just thought it was right. Steam to the yes. core, huh? Steam grows. Ah! Remember that hardcore Korean food we ate in New York? That's oh, how it was, horrible, bro. Man. Really? I could, I could, Everything I, looked purple. You can't just jump into squid. Korean food. We just, yeah, nothing was careful. open. And nothing I, was open. We were, I was eating it. I was just swallowing it like a soldier all <laughs> Christmas story. She was paying <laughs> for it. I was, I was like, oh, my Gross. God. It was, it was raw, dude. And everything was hardcore <laughs> steam like Give me a yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> and little plants I've never even seen before, dude. I think you went to like the rural Korean place, like something that's like, you know, mountain, Korean there was, mountain food or something. There was something. only like real Koreans in yeah. there. <laughs> like they only spoke Koreans. Did you ever eat Koreans? Korean. Did you ever eat that one dessert? Like my cousins used to like fucking swear by it, uh, chongos. It tastes like rubber, dude. It was yeah, like it was chongos. Like, What's chongos? Oysters. Like no, 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 no. It was a candy. It, it was like a chongo. It's like a... Kurt, something milk. Uh, what is it? Dulces de leche. Those are bomb when they're like you know fresh. There's chongos out there, bro. So that that's what it is. It's like chongo, like fried stuff. Recipe, guess no. Something made up. I mean, I've eaten like you know I mean, Mexican dessert that's typically <laughs> prepared with raw milk, sugar. Dulce de leche. Dulce de leche. I'll go see, but it just race. tastes like rubbery, bro. It's canned. And was and your guys' fried? homemade or was it in a can from a can? It was canned, so I think that's. Oh, that's probably what's all rubber. Sure. Yeah, it's all like never, dude. Yeah. What's up, fool? How many dogs do you have? Three doggies, man. Now? Three. You have three now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we found one. Remember, we, we rescued one. I thought one passed away. Uh, that was uh like three years. <laughs> so we had two. So we had one, uh, Henry. He was left Henry, alone. Yes. Then we bought uh, Mikey for him. You know. Oh, that's right. And then you found and one. We found one. Yeah, yeah, a little one on the street. Oh, that's yeah. sad, huh? Dude, his Who little found guy, it? Stephanie. Stephanie found them. She was yeah. just laying in the streets. She said that he was just like he was like, just like strolling down the street, oh. all hairy and dirty. And then like he was so friendly that she usually you know when you try like talk to dogs they run away, but this dog just like went up to her and like. And I and I, I hope stuff. she has a home. Are you sure you didn't steal him? I saw this dog on. <laughs> I, know, right? I catch a lady stealing dog. I saw this dog on. Um, on, you know how they always they always share like a, a shelter dog, and it was this do- this puppy that was. Um, I guess he was he was from a from a breeder. They call him Greeter, and the 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 dog was just put inside a kennel forever. I guess, and his arms didn't get developed. Oh wow! So when he came out, he couldn't he couldn't. Well, like he couldn't, move, from the he couldn't move with pouches, mm-hmm. so uh, um, someone rescued it, and they, I think they, they they kind of did like that surgery you, you were talking about how when they make somebody longer. Oh yeah, yeah so yeah. they made his arm shorter, and they give him two little cast. It was cute. They give him a little cast, and then that foot started running, and then they taught him how to how to um, walk with uh, new legs. I saw that one. That foot yeah. walking like a motherfucker now, <laughs> bro. Yeah. But have you seen the one though where the, the like um, the dog has a wheelchair and he's all old, and then the bottom is saying, "Man, why people just let that motherfucker die now?" <laughs> I like it when the they like a dog has no legs and then they like figure out a way to put the two little wheels on him, yeah. and then he takes off all and he's, you know living his best life. It's the best man. What's the name? Dog. What's the name? Shared a personal story about his dog. I think it was um, the guy from the Daily Show. Um, Stewart. John Stewart. John Stewart. Yeah, John Stewart. It he was passed, talking right? about um. That they went to a shelter and it was like the a pet bull or some or some dog or a bull dog. He had just came in and um he had no chance of life or whatever, right? And he and then he rescued it and then he's telling the story at that he and then like that was twelve years ago. And then I was like crying, bro, like really crying. He passed away this morning. It was everybody knew the dog from the set. 
Yeah. When he was on a daily show, man, and then he was, he was, he was breaking down, bro. Yeah, dude. Me too. When my dog died, Henry, I was crying like fucking um, the Green Mile, bro. <laughs> 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 Buried over there, boss. Yeah, it's a family member, man. They're Mr. like Mr. Henry. If yeah. you don't, if you never had that experience, you you never understand that, dude. Nah. Yeah. I remember when my little cat passed, dude, and I had to bury him, dude. As soon as I, I just started bawling, dog. Yeah, it's like little family members, man. Yeah, dude, I, sucks, you man. hang out with them more than like fucking like, like like you know like. I think you cry more Oof. sometimes for them. I remember my ex was right telling there. me about her dead dog, and she brought the ashes and a little cat in a little um, box. Bro, I, I laugh so hard, dog. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I smoked that for I you. laughed. I, I didn't. I, the argument was, I don't get it, man. I never had a dog. I, I will never understand what you're going through. Yeah. And it's true, though. You don't. But now I know, B.H. <laughs> <laughs> I know, B.H. But that's a cool thing about I ain't walking around with no ashes, though. I know. That's kind of creepy. I have, on top of the, I have on top of the television. Throughout our yeah. house. <laughs> I keep the ashes. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Imagine this. You're at the vet's house again, knowing that. Vet care costs continue to rise. You're actually waiting to hear how expensive the bill will be. But if you had pet insurance, your pet could be covered for accidents or illness. That's why you should check out ASPCA Pet Health Insurance. The ASPCA Pet Health Insurance Program offers customizable, customizable accident and illness plans to make it easier for pet parents like you to help your pet get the care they may need. The ASPCA Pet Health Insurance Program has been around for over 18 years, and they've helped more than 600,000 pets during that time. They, they allow you to customize your plan, helping ensure that your pet's plan is as unique as you are, because vet bills can really add up, especially when you're least expecting it. It's simple. Use the app to submit a claim, and you'll receive reimbursement for eligible vet bills directly into your bank account to explore coverage visit a s p c a petinsurance.com slash f o o l foo that's a s p c a petinsurance.com slash foo again that's a s p c a petinsurance.com slash foo this is a paid advertisement insurance is underwritten by either independence American Insurance Company or United States Fire Insurance Company and produced by PTZ Insurance Agency Limited. The ASPCA is not an insurer and is not engaged in the business of insurance. You have pet insurance for your dog? No, but I'm going to get it. Get it, bro, because, man, you know, when shit happens, bro, you needed that shit, bro. Exactly. Those, like, little the best that we ever had. I like, I like our, it. Our, our, our listeners, at least 40% of them are pet owners. And their dog dies, they get sick, just leave them in the park. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's the, the thing, man. That's expensive, dude. When you have a pet, you yeah, got to yeah. put money on the side, you know? It's sad when you're there, bro, and, and the people, like, they tell them how much it's going to cost, they just b start bawling, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. People are stupid, though, with, like, with their dog. Like, if you're going to have a, 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 a dog, man, it's, it's forever, motherfuckers. It's not just for, like, to you, to you finally get a girlfriend or you finally find a man. <laughs> Or you get finally out. get tired of being on TikTok with your dog. It's forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forever. Like, these motherfuckers don't die. They live forever. <laughs> and now and, especially um, dogs live for a long time. Cats and, um, live a long time, bro. For real, man, for the first time in, in like, in these, well, so not for the first time, but in these times now, people are, the vets are seeing older dogs for the first time. Because normally, yeah. you know, dogs die, but now They're people, getting used to new ailments. New ailments, bro. Because like, yeah. yeah. people used to put their dogs down just at the slightest illness or whatever. Now you got dogs with diabetes yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Like my dog has Alzheimer's, bro. He has to speak in German. <laughs> <laughs> he was meowing. I'm hungry. You already ate. <laughs> What's up, fool? What's up with that jacket, bro? You got the pants for it or what? <laughs> <laughs> they actually have, you have a set. I got this on a, uh, I got, usually What's I got this originally set? for the 90s party. Oh, that's right. It was on Amazon, yeah. But it's like a backup dancer for the new kids on the block. I like it, dude. It's it, very it, nice. It, it's a nice da -da, windbreaker, da -da, man. Da -da. It's perfect. Do you have shows for or what? Um, I have shows. Yeah, yeah. So with you, uh, I'm excited for Irvine, but we just are announcing, me and Rodrigo, we're going to be uh, <laughs> co-headlining Cinco de Mayo at The Post in El Monte. The Post in El Monte. Check it out. It's, it's El Monte. El Monte, dude. <laughs> but like, yeah, the place has been uh, popping recently with like, a whole bunch of uh, great comedians. Uh, Ken Flores was there. He sold out. 
Uh, who is it? Paul Rodriguez, Sam Tripoli. Orale. Paul Rodriguez. Willie Barcena, bro. What's up, dog? Uh, yeah, man. So come on down. Cinco, it's me, Cuatro de Mayo, actually. Uh, May the force be with you. Yeah, Saturday. So come on down. Hell yeah. Next week, I'll be at the Irvine Improv. We added a Thursday show, a second show. So be there'll eight. be two, eight shows, Sold people. Shows. I said right here, March 1st, I'm going to do the SAP Center with um, Ada Rodriguez, Tony Rock, myself, Ralph Barbosa, D.L. Hewley, and Cedric the Entertainer. March 7th through the 10th, Irvine, California. Tickets are not available only for one Thursday night. March 5th through the 16th, Albany. <laughs> March 21st to 24th, Richmond Heights, Missouri. That's St. Louis. March 29th, St. Louis Obispo. March 30, Santa Barbara. April 6th, Monterey, California. I might eat fish and chips. Tickets, tickets at FelipeWorld.com <laughs> slash tour. And then on March 6th, right? Yeah, man. Uh, what's a Wednesday? Is at the Melrose Whoa. Improv, the lab, 10.30 p.m. Come out. I thought that I thought that show happened already. Nah, next Wednesday. Woo. March 6th, dude. Where? Gabby Lamb, this fool, Saul Trujillo, and Vince Caldera and myself. Yeah, man. Also, check out the History for Fools <laughs> podcast this week. I think we talk about the American Revolution as far as we know it. Yeah, yeah so dude. um I will just do the breakdown of the podcast here, man, but uh, spoil alert if you want to go listen to it. <laughs> A little preview. Fucking, right fucking Bush turned into a Tory after reading, after finding out. <laughs> I thought he was a wig. He's a loyalist, bro. Hey, man. America was wrong for the other terrorists, man. He never knew, bro. Uh, welcome to the club, man. <laughs> That's what America's been doing we since day one. The fucking history. tea party, man. You know, we, we call everybody terrorists, but we're the worst ones. Yeah, man, we were going to tar and feather him after the podcast, bro, for taking the British side. Why do you think America's so strong ever since Columbus discovered it? Yeah, man, we learned that, we learned that the first guy who... Get, you know the Boston... You, remember, you ever heard of the Boston Massacre? Uh, Yeah, that was... Uh... What happened about in Boston Square? Chris yeah. Satics was the first. The, fir victim, the right? first guy who got shot was a black dude, bro. Oh, and then the whole thing yeah. happened, right? Cr the whole Christopher. What's the name? Uh, Crispus Atticus. First Crispus Atticus, bro. He got shot in a Boston Marathon, Boston Mass Mass massacre. The first victim. When um, the British troops came in to seize order, and they were being tossed with vegetables and fucking, they were fucking throwing seashells at them. Cinco de Mayo style. God yeah. damn, dude. But that sparked the revolution, though. And yeah, that, you know, it's like, you know, boom, let's they're go. Like, let's they're like, we're fed so out. you want to learn about the Sons of Liberty and the Loyal Nine and <laughs> Benedict Arnold, Hamilton, and um, John Adams, Sam Adams, Paul Revere, go check out the History for Fools podcast. And next week, we'll talk about the history of the circus. Oh, shit, P.T. Barnum, Felician, Phoenician. Taylor Barnum and the Ringling Brothers Circus. The greatest show on earth. Yeah, bro, the greatest show on earth because they didn't want to call it a circus. That's for 60, a fool ran a museum before he started a circus. What's up, fool? What's up, bro? You ever thought about joining a circus? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, happened, you, ready, you, got two, you already got two different socks. Right That's here, funny. ready, bro. Trapeze artist, bro. Yeah, dude, walking the tightrope with those little socks. Bro, the, the circuses in Mexico are crazier compared to the Circos Vargas. I've only been to the circus Circo in Mexico. Circo Vargas, bro. <laughs> dude, they didn't even have an elephant. They said that they had an elephant, dude. It wasn't even an elephant. It was a guy in a suit. Se nos perdió, we. It's a <laughs> It was it was a hippopotamus. It was like Larry Br uh, Bubbles Brown's joke. I seen the zipper in the back. Remember you sent me that video of Willie with the fire, <laughs> the gasoline. Oh, that you got you got it. The flame. Yeah, bird? and then I told you, you it. Was, uh, you have it? Uh, uh, Circus Vargas. I told you that. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see that. That's badass. Though. That's fucking skills, dude. Fucking hold on. <laughs> Find you do it, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, all right. I'll, fucking, <laughs> I'll swallow that shit by accident, bro. Who's gonna catch his jacket on fire? I mean, I got it. I'll, I'll send it to you, Philip, right now, but. Don't you absorb all That's that? That's how shit? I get my teeth the way they are, dog. Because <laughs> isn't your tissue on the inside of your mouth like that much more delicate and it absorbs that much more faster? That's a hardcore carcinogen, right, bro? You fucking. He said carcinogen, carcinogen bro. Hey, dude. Do a history for fools on that word, dog. The etymology of the word carcinogen, Where bro. Where is that video, bro? He's a carcinogen. <laughs> Where is that video? Where's that fucking video? Oh, what, what's, oh. I'll find it later. We need it now. Yeah, we're, 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 we're Virginia. Is that the South? Yeah, that's the South, bro. 
Yeah, he, man, Benedict Arnold, he won a big um, campaign where we were staying at. Right there. Well, a lot of shit went down the Chesapeake Bay right there. Oh, yeah? yeah That's why I, I want to go back. I want to go back to Valley Forge where it all went down. There's a bunch of badass little things. You know what's funny, things. man? And um, <laughs> there were so many diseases at Valley Forge that um, they were just uh, medicine was all new. That and there was they were on po- smallpox, a spread of smallpox. Uh-huh. So they didn't know how to cure it. So one of the guys there, like a doctor, and um, George Washington okayed it. He got a fucking knife, a dirty knife. I'm only saying dirty knife because hygiene didn't come into the 1900. But uh, this fool got and a, that had a lot to do with this. this fool, and then they got a, he got a knife, and he got a guy that has smallpox already, and he had the pusses, the pores. And he fucking got the pores on that knife. And then he went to a healthy motherfucker and he put the pus on him. He gave it, he gave it him smallpox? Or he gave him smallpox. So that was like, um, and then that guy who, who was healthy didn't get smallpox, bro. And then he became like the, with that guy, they made the, Immu- the immunity. The immunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then later, uh, what? What it being like, kind of like a vaccine, right? A or vaccine, something? yeah. Yeah. Because that's the whole thing they were saying during the pandemic. Because uh, I was talking to Larry. He's all, yeah, I heard you immunity. You got to get sick. Herd immunity, and then your body will fight it all back. But I guess I got back, so I don't need it no more. Fool, I remember that fool gave me that joke, man. My friend, man, he has sex with cheap, so he won't get the pandemic because he has herd immunity. <laughs> 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 I never heard that. It's just funny. He bro. gave it to me, bro. I haven't used it. <laughs> 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 One thing about Mexico, isn't it Mexico they have sex with animals a lot? Also in um, Italy too, that was sheep. I think a, a lot of the countries where there's animals, they're around farms, you know, there's no women. I, I think also that, that could be like a lie being said by somebody from the city to, yeah. to like look down on people. That yeah, too. Like the country oh, they have right? sex with fucking... With clowns, eh? Because <laughs> I talked to my uncle, the youngest one. He, I was like, you ever heard of that? Oh, un cabron, some dude uh, had a sex, patada, sex with a pig, and I'm all happened. Yeah. Se enfermo. Who, he got, did or the pig? No, the, the, the guy that had sex with a pig got all sick. Of was the pig a female or a male? Good question. I, I don't know. I gotta yeah. ask. I don't know. If... <laughs> but that's nasty. Dude. Imagine, bro, how, how the torture of that pig. Not only are they going to eat him, but they're going to have sex with him first. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> cochinitos, way. <laughs> What's next? But there's donkey shows, right? You've well, been there, right? <laughs> <laughs> two tickets, the donkey show. I got two tickets it's for the, the donkey, donkey show. show. I heard that's a myth, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Pack your bag. We're going to go to San Isidro and walk into San Isidro. <laughs> two tickets, the donkey what, show. What were you guys talking about before the podcast with the lady that uh, got didn't get her settlement because she was caught throwing oh, a tree? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, put it up? Because uh, I was going to tell you, one of my homies... Here it is. Mom loses 800000 disability case after photos of her winning a tree-throwing competition emerged. Oh, my gosh. She was throwing a tree, the dumbass? That is the craziest thing to fucking do to get caught. What are you I doing? thought she was th- caught throwing an axe. An axe. <laughs> no. Well, the thing is, a lot of people do it in, like... They go uh, enter competitions or they go work out when they're not really hurt. Yeah. It's their fraudulent cases. I know a guy that moonlights as a as a, a private investigator for an attorney, and all he does is like follow people and record them. So this guy was fighting a case. He said his back was all messed up. And the thing with backs, you can't really tell, even with like X rays. So other things yeah. could be wrong with your nerves. They cut the for a buki concert dancing. <laughs> So uh, and dude, this is how this fool talks. Yeah, bro. So I started following him from the house, bro. And he had the neck thing. That's a pretty cool job to have. And, dude. He, and he had the 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 what are those things the called? Crutches. The crutches, bro. It is he looks way. He looked serious, bro. Like he was hurt, bro. So I was following him. And then I was following for like thirty minutes, bro, all the way from Montario, all the way to West Covina, bro. How would bro, it up, bro? So he he gets out of the van, bro, and he gets out. And he lifts up the back door of the van and he starts changing, bro, into a soccer uniform, bro. He takes a little neck thing off. He puts the crutches away. I mean, it's like a handicapped soccer game. And then uh, I was a superhero. I recorded him, bro. The whole time he was playing, bro. He even ended up scoring the winning goal, bro. And this, and, this, and so I'm like, what happened, fool? He's like, yeah, bro. So we went. Uh, he went to uh, to fight the case in the morning on Monday. And uh, before his attorney showed up, we put in the VHS tape. So this goes back some time. Fuck. And they're all, oh, yeah, sir. So you're still hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I can't stand the pain. Hang on real quick. Well, and well, the, you're the investigator here <laughs> passing the body. You would throw a go away. <laughs> so he plays a video for him. The, the His attorney that he works for, the guy gets up and walks out, bro. 
He got yeah, busted. Does, does he limp out or does he? <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was lying the whole time. He says centrala. So, uh, yeah, dude. So this, that's what he does on the side. Dude. My friend BB used to chase people at that too, bro. He had a van and he used to follow fools around, bro. He said follow a lady who was about to get a claim too, bro. They were going to go whatever. And then he followed her, bro. And she, she caught her gears to one of BJ, bro. <laughs> You can, a, you can give a BJB in a, ninja. Could in you? In a no. park? Not with a neck brace, bro. <laughs> Unless the guy's standing up, right? You can see her right? head going, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> and only last, she lost the case and her marriage. Oh, oh yeah. my God, dude. That's a Damn. double dipper right there. Wait, so like people that follow, are you, are they like independent contractors? Or yeah. 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 I'll, I'll let you have that job. Well, That's a sick ass job, Because my homie <laughs> had a fool hiding behind a tree. I can't tell you the job he does, <laughs> but he got divorced. So he makes, <laughs> wants to make side money. It's untaxable, so he works with the guy for cash. Remember I told you like a couple of weeks ago when I slipped that at Walmart and they were asking me, are you okay? Do you need a, uh, do you need a, do you want to file something? And I was thinking about doing it. I'm like, and I was they like, have cameras, bro. And I was like, ah, oh, do I'm going to like pretend to be like injured? But they, like, oh, so you went on a cruise ship, you know, like it would have been all this drama, dude. When I, when I used to work last prevention at a uh, Kmart, the one on Sherman way over there in, um, uh, what's that <clears throat> called? Uh, North Hollywood. We had a guy trying to, he was on the floor all acting. I was like, what happened? One of your guys' hangers was on the floor and I slipped and fell. I can't even feel my legs. I'm all, you can't feel your legs or nothing? All right. And I didn't even know what to do. So I had to call the district manager. What do? Rodrigo, go check the videotapes real quick. Like, oh, yeah, that's right. Huh? This guy's smart. <laughs> so I checked the videotapes. The guy lied. He put it right there and then he fake fell. And, uh, and then I'm all, hey, man, we just seen the video and we seen exactly what you did. He rolls over. He's a big old fat guy. And he rolls over, gets up on his knees and walks away. Hey, man, I slipped Scandals, on a bro. kind of hanger in the house and you can fall hard, bro. You can eat yeah, shit, bro, because people eat have. Shit. You're either going to fall on your back or you're going to fucking break the, 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 in, your kneecap or the inside your scrotum or something, dude, like Andy Bernard. <laughs> bro, I saw this funny ass video, bro. This lady, uh, she's not a dancer. <laughs> But she also, she slid on something, and she did a split, and somebody added the Michael Jackson song. Woo! Don't stop you getting up. <laughs> and even that for that lady, dude, you can tear something, too, if you don't even go down yeah. all the way like that. That's why you got to stretch every day, man. All, all, if you listen oh, yeah. out here, man, if you're, like, over 265 pounds, as long as you drink water every day, man, and stretch, you're never going to hurt yourself, man. But it's when you don't stretch and you don't drink water, is when you turn around and check out some titties and you fuck up your shoulder, right? Yeah, yeah, you're stiff like you that. Atrophy you atrophy like too because you you don't use those muscles anymore. Dude. You could tell like the people who work out and who doesn't like when it, when we get on a plane, you could see the people that get up even though even though they're skinny, they get up tired, bro. Yeah, they do they do that 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 face because you could be oh, skinny, man. you don't move, but you'll be, you'll be stiff, you know. I had a stoop, I had an old man with a cane, bro. And I'm thinking, oh great, he's gonna fucking get mad every time somebody gets up. And how, how was he? He just fell asleep. He's just old, bro. He got up. Every time he got up, I got up. Man. Did he get up a lot to use the restroom? Nah, but he had a cane, bro. He, had a, he left it up there. Oh, shit. I seen that old man, dude. He looked mean, huh? What's up, full podcast? So um, this week I'll be in San Jose, man. Thank you for listening to the What's Up, full Turn podcast. Up. We have more guests and more shows coming up. Woo! Yeah, man. What's up, What's up, fool?